everyone, welcome to Amala Fitness on IC Digital. My name's Kim and I'm gonna be leading us through this 30 minute booty burn workout. We got 20 exercises today, a minute and 15 seconds on. We're gonna run through these exercises only one time aside from doing a right leg to a left leg, and that is gonna be our workout. What we need today is a chair, a step up ladder, a fancy bench, this is actually my decor for my room, an ottoman, anything that you could step up on because we are gonna be doing some step ups for this booty burn. Weights, if you have, I'm gonna use weights throughout the exercise. If you don't have weights at home, no problem. You could get through this workout and you're gonna have a great workout without the weights. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a couple minutes. If you have a mat, grab that. We will get down on the floor a little bit towards the end. Water bottle, towel, something to step on. If you have your stuff, let's begin our warm up. Our warm up is going to be step ups. So, as you get your stuff, just join me. Just getting the heart rate up here, alternating feet up and down. And this is just the warm up, so we don't have to go too crazy. But if you want to get that heart rate up a little more, pick up the pace. All right, most people should have their stuff by now, so come on, join me here. We'll stick with this for about another 30 seconds. And then we're gonna get into our first exercise, which will be a right leg step up. So basically what we're doing, but only stepping up with our right leg. Our first five exercises are gonna focus, keep on going here, I'm gonna get our timer ready. Our first five exercises are gonna focus just on this right leg. So we are gonna burn this right leg out. All right, if you have your weights, grab your weights, right leg step up. So we got a couple options here. If you wanna work on the core, work on your balance a little more, as you step up, notice my right left leg is just floating. If you want, rest that left foot as you get to the top. That's gonna to help with your balance a little bit more. As you're stepping up, really drive through that right heel. That's gonna get your glute engagement on that right side. Pull that belly button in, roll the shoulders back, standing up nice and tall. We're over halfway through with this first exercise. So we're gonna move in next to a curtsy squat. So I'm gonna move to the side of the bench here so my back's not to you. All right, switching over here. Stepping up and coming down. So still driving up through this right leg as you step up. Left leg steps back behind the right. Staying with me here. Chest is up. And if the weights become too much at any point, drop the weights down. We're gonna be on this right side for almost eight minutes. So towards the end of these first five exercises, you're gonna feel it. Twenty more seconds here. In ten seconds, come to the front of your chair or step. We're going into a single legged seated squat. From here, right leg still standing up, sitting back down, driving through this right heel as we stand up. Keep going. Gonna get our timer to have some sound. Left leg floats up once again. Or if you need a little bit support, maybe you drop the toe down as you stand up. 
and it's just a little tap on the bench. <laughs> Try not to sit too long. We want to keep that right glute engaged. Fifteen more seconds here. Stay with me. We're going to stay here at the front for Bulgarian split squat. All right, next we're moving into our Bulgarian split squat. So stay here at the front of your bench. This time bring this right leg forward, left foot, left foot rests on your chair, bench. And we're just dropping down, coming straight down and trying to get that knee directly on top of the ankle. So if you notice you're leaning forward like this, scoot your chest and booty back and come down. Still driving through that right heel. I hope you're feeling a burn. I know I'm feeling a burn. And we still got one more on this right side. Over halfway through, we got 30 seconds here. Stay with me. Ten more seconds. And last five, four, three. Two, one. Stay here at the front. We're going to bring this right leg up. Lateral step ups this time. So still driving through your right foot as you step up. And as I said before, if you notice that this right leg is getting a little tired, drop your weights. Thirty seconds left. So after this, everything we just did on the right side, we're moving over to the left. First thing up is our step up with that left foot. In two seconds, let's come around, stepping up with your left foot. So same as before, you can drive your right knee up as you step up, or you can pause at the top, drop those right toes down. Driving through the left heel this time. Pull that belly in. Core engage is going to help with your balance. Right glute, right leg is getting a little bit of a rest right now. We will come back to it, I promise. We got 20 more seconds here. From here, we're going to move into our curtsy squat. So we're gonna move on to the side of our chair, bench. Maybe you move to the front and do it from the front depending on what you're stepping on. We got three seconds, two, and one. Moving in to that. So stepping up with that left foot, right leg comes behind the left. Step up, right leg comes down to your side. Sticking with the weights, maybe dropping them down. Maybe you're going up in weight. As I always say, 
my workouts are just a guide of what to do. You know how much to push yourself in regards to how much weight you're gonna be using. But don't cheat yourself. Push yourself. I want you to feel that burn in that left leg. I want you to be a little short of breath. I want you to be breaking a sweat. We only got 30 minutes. Stay with me. We got 15 more seconds here. From here, we're moving into that single leg squat. And last five, four, three, two, and one. Quick transition here. Grabbing down through that left leg, standing up. Right leg floats up. Maybe you drop the toes as you stand. If you're dropping the toes, still really focus on pushing through that left glute as you stand. So dropping the toes might just be to help with your balance as you come up. And as you sit back down onto your chair, it's just a quick tap and then right away pushing right back up. Halfway through this left leg, we got 30 seconds here. In 15 seconds, we're gonna move into the Bulgarian split squat. So left foot is still gonna stay on the ground. Bring that right foot up onto your chair bench. And we're gonna come down into that squat. In three, two, and one. Quick transition. Step that left leg out a little bit further than probably where it just was. Right toes up on the bench. As you can see, sometimes it just takes a little bit of playing around with how far you need to step out. And then once you get that sweet spot, coming straight down. Nice 90 degree bend from the knee and to the ankle. Drop that booty straight down, chest is up. Keep that smile on your face. Stay with your breath. We got one more exercise on this left side after that. Still driving through that left heel. Maybe float the left toes off your floor just a little bit to help engage that left glute a little more. 10 more seconds here. And we're gonna transition into that lateral step up in three, two, and one. From here, I'm gonna to come to the back of my bench once again so my back's not to you. Stepping straight up. Quick tap as you come down to the floor and then driving through your left foot to bring yourself back up. After this exercise, in 35 seconds, we are gonna remove the bench chair, whatever you're stepping up on. We will not need it for the remainder of the class. So just get it out of your way. And we're gonna move into skaters. Get that heart rate up just a little bit more. I hope I already got it up with these first 10 exercises. We got 10 more seconds here. And in five seconds, we're gonna get rid of our bench and move into our skaters. Drop the weight for the skaters. Get rid of your chair bench. For the skaters, just side to side here. Driving through your landing foot. I'm gonna call this basically our mid-exercise active recovery. We got rid of the weights. We're shifting weights side to side here. So we're 
we're not focusing just on the one leg. Keep going. Thirty more seconds. Fifteen seconds. Stay with me. Keep that heart rate up. Maybe you go side to side a little faster. In five seconds, we're going to move into a sumo squat with a pulse. Amani, you gotta cut it here for one quick second. I don't know why my interval thing cut out. I'm gonna jump back in in 10 seconds. I don't, I don't know what's going on with the interval thing today. All right, I'm jumping back in right now. All right, next we're moving into our sumo squat. So if you want, grab your weights again. Grab your weights here again. Bring your weights to center, and you're coming down. Toes are bent out, 45 degrees, pulse. One, two, and up. Squeeze your glutes when you get to the top. So pulse, one, two, up, squeeze those glutes. Finding that pace. Chest is up. Engage your glutes by driving your knees out towards your pinky toes. So try not to collapse those knees in, pull them out. One, two, stand. Staying with this pulse, we got 35 more seconds here. Chest still stays up, dropping that booty straight down. 20 seconds here. From here, we're gonna get down onto our mat and move into a bridge with or without the weights. In three, two, one. Come down onto your mat. Feet are underneath the knees. Press the hips up toward the sky, pulse. One, two, back down. Legs are about hip width apart, still driving through those heels. Now to protect the neck, keep your gaze up. Try not to look at the screen. We're staying here for another 40 seconds. I will cue you for your, your transition, but our transition is gonna stay here. We're gonna move into single-legged bridges. So for now, just pulse up, one, two, lower down. Up, one, two, lower down. If you notice you're getting any lower back discomfort, try to drive through the heels a little more. That's gonna engage the glutes and take out pressure out of your lower back. If you're using weights and you notice discomfort in the lower back, maybe get rid of the weights. In two seconds here, we're gonna come down, bring this right leg up, remove the weights, and we're just pulsing here. At the halfway point, we're gonna switch over to your left leg. Ten more seconds here, and we're switching to the left in five, four, three, two, one. Switch over to the left, right leg comes down, Left leg comes up, bring that, press that heel up to the ceiling. Grab, uh, pushing through the right heel to bring your hips off the ground. Gaze still stays up. Ten 
We got 15 more seconds here. And from here, we're gonna get back up onto our feet for alternating lunges with a pulse. In three, two, one. Roll over onto your side. Grab your weights if you'd like. We're alternating here. Start at the back of your mat. Stepping forward with the right, pulse down. One, two, step that right leg back. Forward with the left, pulse. One, two, find your pace. We're just alternating here for the next 50 seconds. Just as we did in our Bulgarian split squat, as you come down into that lunge, 90 degree bend, knee over top of that ankle, the knees coming over the toes, shift your weight back. The problem that happens when the knees too much over the toes, you put pressure on the front of the knee, which over time can lead to injury. And we don't want that. I don't want that for you guys. So even if that means slowing it down so you get right form, then do that. We're moving on in three, two, one. From here, balance on this right leg. We're going to go into a single leg and deadlift. Come up from the deadlift. Step forward into a lunge. Single leg and deadlift. You could balance your foot here as you step down into a lunge. So if you need, bring that toe down as you transition into your deadlift. Coming straight down in that lunge. Yes, this is working a little more core. As you go into your deadlift, pull those shoulders back. Try not to round through the chest. We got 15 more seconds here, and then we're gonna switch to our left leg, doing the exact same thing. And we're switching here. Get into that left leg. Right leg comes up, chest stays up. Drive that right knee through, step down into a lunge. Come back up, maybe you balance here. Find your rhythm. Core is tight, that's gonna help with your balance. As you step into your lunge, drive through this right heel to help bring you back up into your standing position. As you go into your deadlift, try to keep your hips parallel to your mat. We got 35 more seconds here. Good news is after this, we only have three more exercises. And those last three are basically on our mat. Stay with me, we're almost done. Last 15 seconds here, core is tight. Staying with your breath. And last three, two, one. Drop your one weight, come down onto your left forearm and your left shin. We're gonna come up. For a little extra resistance, you could put your weight onto your outer right thigh, or maybe you just put your hand on your hip here. So as you come up engaging this right glute, Final of three exercises. I hope you guys are getting a nice burn here. We got 35 more seconds. From here, we're just gonna transition right onto the left side. Core's tight. It's gonna help keep that left side off your mat. We got 20 more seconds. And 
last three, two, one. Right away. Quick transition here. Roll over onto the other side of your mat. Right forearm is down. Right shin is down. Bringing up that left leg this time. So to help keep this right side off your mat and down like this, engage your right obliques, your side body. Engaging your left glute to help bring this leg up. Halfway through here, 30 more seconds. Let's push it to the end. And then we're on our final exercise. Are you feeling that burn? That's good. That means you're building muscle. Stay here. You got this. We got 15 seconds. Push it. And in five seconds, we're gonna roll over onto our back, moving into frog pulses. Our final exercise in three, two, one. Let go of the weights. Roll onto your back. Soles of your feet together, knees open wide. Pushing the soles of your feet, lift the hips. And just pulse here. We are pulsing for the next minute. This is our final exercise. Yes, it looks funny, but it is a gl good glute burner. Squeeze those glutes as you bring your hips up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep those knees open and keep pressing the soles of your feet together. Gaze is up. Last 20 seconds of work. Push it right till the end. We are done after this. Keep pushing. Last five seconds. And three, two, one. Good, relax if you want. Take a little stretch. Arms over your head. Release the legs long. Now let's get into a nice stretch for those glutes since we've worked them quite a bit. Take your right leg, cross it over the left, right heels on your left thigh. Pull that thigh, left thigh in, and then drop the right knee out. If you want a little more, take your right hand and you can gently push on the leg. So just taking a couple breaths here. If you guys like this class, please give me a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe. We do have new classes coming out every Sunday night, Monday morning, as I would say, depending on where you are in the world. Let's switch it to the left side. Left leg comes over that right thigh. And if you really enjoy this channel and love to support myself and the producer, we do have a Patreon page. You could swipe up, the link is above. Um, part of this, you will get um, the classes ahead of time. Once a month, I do question and answers. It could be on fitness, nutrition, as I'm a health coach as well. So if that is something that interests you, we would greatly appreciate your support. And release the leg here. Now let's bring this right leg in. Just give it a nice squeeze and then cross the right leg over the left. Keep the right shoulder down onto your mat. If it feels good, gaze over your right shoulder. I'm not going to gaze over because I don't want to look away from the camera. The key here is to keep that right shoulder down on your mat. And then come back to center. Let's do the left side. Hug that left knee in. Give it a big squeeze. Avoid the rib cage here. And then twisting that left leg over the right, left, left shoulder is glued down onto the mat. And coming back here, let's roll over onto our side. Just take, actually we'll take it from sitting here. 
Just take a forward fold, get into those hamstrings a little bit. Any tension here in the lower back or even in the hamstrings, just bend your knees a little. And as those hamstrings begin to open up over time, you will straighten those legs. Take a few breaths here. And lastly, let's get into our hip flexors. Come onto your knees, step that right leg forward, and then shift your hips forward. The right hip's gonna come back, left hip shifts forward, getting into the front left hip, also known as your left psoas. I think this is such an important stretch because so many of us sit a lot throughout the day, whether it's work life, school life, just driving, maybe watching TV, whatever it is, we do tend to sit quite a bit, so our hip flexors get tight, which over time, let's switch it up. Really tight hip flexors could lead to back pain or could be a cause or a factor in back pain for people that have it. So let's get into this right hip flexor this time. Left hip slides back, right hip forward, and then drop the hips down. All right, that is our workout for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope those glutes are burning. I will see you next week.